When this gorilla snuck up on this woman in the jungle, he gave her the biggest scare of her life. But as she worried that he might attack her out of anger, he did something that left her in shock. Brenda Smith was walking in the thick jungle of the Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park. She had been resident in the park for two months, and this had become her everyday routine. Every morning, the researcher set out on her jungle journey with a backpack full of notebooks and closely observed a gorilla family. She wanted to understand their behaviors in a family setting and see how similar it was to human behavior. The gorillas went about their day, taking care of their little ones, playing games, and sharing bits of food. Brenda documented these activities, finding patterns in their interactions. The researcher made a conscious effort to stay inconspicuous, silently trailing the gorilla family. Her research demanded that she observe them in their natural habitat without disrupting their behavior patterns. She became a silent spectator to their daily life, hoping to unveil the mysteries of gorilla communication. Little did Brenda know she had become the subject of observation herself. In the vast expanse of the Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park, approximately 400 gorillas roamed freely. Among them, a curious male had taken a keen interest in Brenda's activities. Kazi observed the woman from a distance, intrigued by the human researcher navigating the jungle. His keen eyes tracked her as she remained oblivious to the fact that she had become part of a unique cross-species observation. One day, as the researcher settled near a clearing to document the gorilla's interactions, Kazi decided to approach a bit closer. He moved quietly, using the thick vegetation to conceal his presence. Brenda sensed something and looked around, catching a glimpse of the curious gorilla. Startled, the silverback sensed that he had been discovered. In that moment of realization, he backed off, disappearing into the shadows of the jungle. Though the woman was curious, she later dismissed the encounter as a mere coincidence. Perhaps it was just a harmless gorilla going about its daily activities. After all, the park was filled with several gorillas, and it was common for them to cross paths. Regardless, she became more careful in her observations the next day. She couldn't shake the feeling that the gorilla had been watching her. The rustling leaves and distant sounds took on a new significance. After some pondering, she convinced herself that it was simply the natural symphony of the jungle, and her suspicions were unfounded. In the following days, Smith's routine continued. As Brenda immersed herself in her research, Kazi continued to follow her movements from a safe distance. His curiosity about the human researcher grew, and he wished to understand this peculiar creature navigating his domain. But he was a little wary of approaching her after their almost encounter. The researcher's days were filled with silent observations and diligent note-taking. She continued to study the gorilla family, documenting their behaviors as usual. But two days after the initial encounter, she still couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her. The jungle seemed to close in on her as she moved through the thick vegetation. She heard rustling leaves, distant hoots, and other telltale signs, and these further heightened her sense of unease. Despite her attempts to reassure herself, a subtle apprehension lingered. Taking cautious measures, she decided to change her routine, exploring different paths through the jungle. As she moved through the foliage, Brenda couldn't escape the feeling that unseen eyes were following her every step. By this time, she was jumping every time she heard a noise, which was all the time since she was wandering through a literal jungle. But the feeling of being stalked was also ruining her work. She couldn't properly focus on the gorilla family anymore, and at the end of the day, her notes would be little more than gibberish. She couldn't go on like this. Her job was too important for her to become distracted because of a feeling. And even if she was being stalked by a gorilla, then what? She spent all her time around them every day anyway. She should be more used to their presence by now. So after several days of looking over her shoulder at every step, Brenda decided to let go of the notion that someone was following her. However, her suspicions were just about to be confirmed. The next day, as she sat at her favorite spot near the waterfall, the jungle seemed to hum with a sense of tranquility. She decided to engage in a playful experiment, mimicking the sound she had heard from the gorillas. It was silly and ridiculous, but she knew that no one could see her. Or so she thought. 
Lost in her playful imitation, Brenda was unaware that her observer was now closer than ever. Kazi, intrigued by the woman's attempt to communicate, had approached silently, his massive form concealed by the lush vegetation. The silverback was curious but remained hidden, observing Brenda with a silent intensity. As Brenda continued her playful sounds, she felt an unusual warmth on her neck. A chill ran down her spine as she turned, only to find herself face to face with a huge gorilla. The proximity startled her, and she couldn't contain a scream of surprise. In an instant, fear and awe mingled in her eyes as she gazed at the majestic silverback just inches away. The gorilla, surprised by the woman's sudden reaction, stood to his full height. Trembling with fear, the researcher took a step back, realizing the enormity of the situation. Her mind raced, recalling every piece of information she had learned about gorilla behavior. Remembering that gorillas might see a person standing tall as a threat, Brenda decided to make herself appear less intimidating. With a mix of fear and determination, she slowly lowered herself to the ground, assuming a submissive posture. She averted her gaze, knowing that a male might feel challenged by a direct stare, and held her breath in anticipation. The jungle, once a place of quiet observation, looked now frozen in time as human and gorilla faced each other. The mysterious silverback observed Brenda's actions with a curious gaze. The jungle's symphony of sound seemed to quiet down, creating an eerie yet anticipatory atmosphere. Brenda, who still lay on the ground trembling, dared to lock eyes with the gorilla, hoping her submissive gesture would convey a message of non-aggression. After a moment that felt like an eternity, the gorilla did something that shocked her more than ever before. Instead of displaying any signs of aggression, Kazi sat down beside her. It was a gesture that defied expectations, and Brenda's fear started to transform into a mixture of confusion and curiosity. The jungle, it seemed, held secrets beyond the grasp of her research. As woman and beast sat side by side, a silent understanding seemed to unfold between them. The fear that had initially gripped Brenda began to give way to a sense of connection with the mysterious silverback. Still on edge, the researcher cautiously reached into her backpack and pulled out a small piece of fruit. She extended it toward the gorilla, unsure of how he would respond. In a surprising turn of events, he accepted the offering, delicately taking the fruit from the woman's outstretched hand. The tension that had filled the air began to dissipate. Brenda, now seated beside Kazi, marveled at the gentle exchange that unfolded. Sitting quietly next to her, the gorilla looked everything but threatening or dangerous. He almost looked just as curious of her as she was of him. Was it possible that he had been following her, not out of malice, but curiosity? She needed to explore this possibility further. After all, it could prove invaluable information for her research. In the days that followed, Brenda and Kaizi's relationship deepened. That spot near the waterfall became their daily meeting place. Every day at dusk, as the sun painted the jungle with hues of orange and gold, the curious silverback would emerge from the foliage, and Brenda always had a piece of fruit waiting for him. It was a silent ritual, a bond forged between two beings from different worlds. One day, in a surprising turn of events, Kazi arrived with a surprise. In his massive hand, he held a banana that he offered to her in a gesture that transcended the boundaries of species. Brenda was taken aback by the unexpected offering and marveled at the depth of their connection. The silverback not only understood that she was bringing fruit for him as a sign of friendship, but was willing to reciprocate it. He wasn't just visiting her for a quick snack in front of a waterfall, but because he truly enjoyed her company. Word of Brenda and Kazi's unique relationship reached her colleagues. They had initially been skeptical of her claims about being observed, but were astonished when they witnessed the evolving bond between her and the silverback. They teased her playfully, with some suggesting that the gorilla was smitten with Brenda. Soon, news of this extraordinary friendship reached the park management. Intrigued by the tales of a gorilla and a human sharing moments of camaraderie, they decided to witness the phenomenon for themselves. As they observed Brenda and Kazi's interactions, a sense of wonder and disbelief filled the air. The park, usually echoing with the calls of wildlife, now murmured with the whispers of an improbable friendship. 
Days turned into weeks and Kazi remained a constant presence, his silver fur contrasting against the lush greenery of the Bwindi jungle. In an unexpected twist, the gorilla started following Brenda like a self-appointed guardian, a silent companion in her daily endeavors. After some time, Brenda's six-month research project drew to a close. As she prepared to leave the jungle that had become her temporary home, a mix of emotions filled her heart. The connection she had shared with the gorilla had become an integral part of her life. The waterfall, which had witnessed their initial encounters, now echoed with the memories of a friendship that transcended the boundaries of language and species. On the day of her departure, Brenda stood near the waterfall, looking into Kazi's inquisitive eyes. The gorilla, ever watchful, seemed to understand the significance of the moment. Brenda, with a lump in her throat, whispered words of gratitude to her silverback friend. She knew she had been the protagonist of an extraordinary adventure, and she knew she owed it all to him. That day, when she made to leave, Kazi stopped her with a gentle touch of his hand on her, almost as if he wanted to savor their last encounter. The news of Brenda's extraordinary bond with Kazi spread beyond the boundaries of the park. The world marveled at the tale of a human and a gorilla finding kinship in the heart of the untamed wilderness. Some found it hard to believe, dismissing it as a fanciful tale woven from the threads of imagination. Others saw it as a testament to the interconnectedness of all life, a reminder that understanding and friendship could bridge even the widest gaps. Brenda returned to the familiar rhythm of human life, but the memories of her time in the windy jungle lingered. The moments of silent understanding and the exchange of simple gifts became a cherished chapter in her life. The researcher, once an outsider in the gorilla's world, had become part of a story that unfolded in the heart of the impenetrable forest. Months passed and Brenda received an unexpected invitation from the park management. They wanted her to return, not as a researcher this time, but as a guest of honor. The tale of Brenda and Kazi had captured the imaginations of those who heard it in the park wanted to celebrate this extraordinary friendship. As the excited woman stepped once again into the windy, impenetrable forest national park, she was greeted by the familiar sounds of rustling leaves, the distant calls of birds, and the rhythmic flow of the waterfall. Kazi the silverback soon emerged from the shadows, his eyes reflecting a sense of recognition and joy. Brenda, surrounded by colleagues, park officials, and curious onlookers, stood beside him. The gorilla gently placed his hand on her shoulder in a display of friendship, and everybody struggled to keep a serious expression. As for Brenda, she let the tears flow freely from her eyes. She was happy, and she wasn't going to do anything to hide it. Afterward, the park management presented Brenda with a framed photograph. It captured a moment when she and Kazi were seated side by side near the waterfall. As Brenda looked at the photograph, she realized that the tale of her friendship with Kazi was more than just a research project. It was a reminder that in the vast tapestry of life, unexpected bonds could be woven, connecting beings across the perceived boundaries of species. As the celebration continued, Brenda knew that she would carry the memories of her time in the windy jungle forever. What an amazing story! What are the odds that this gorilla and Brenda became best friends? Would you have guessed that from the beginning of the story? Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. Stay tuned for more extraordinary stories.